Hello and welcome to a video on dividing thirds. Now the rules that we use when dividing thirds are very similar to that of multiplying thirds. So there's a lot of similarities there. So let's just go back to um, our multiplication rules. Let's say we had the square root of 10 multiplied by the square root of 5. Now remember this is exactly the same as if we take the square root of the product of these two numbers. So 10 times 5. And we know that 10 times 5 is 50, so this is exactly the same as the square root of 50. Now, when we're dividing thirds, the rules are very similar. So let's take the same numbers. Let's do the square root of 10, but this time let's divide by the square root of 5. Well, this is exactly the same as if we take the square root of the um, quotient of these numbers. I was trying to think of what the word is for when we divide two numbers, but I think it's the quotient. So 10 divided by 5, that's all I mean, 10 divided by 5. And we know that 10 divided by 5 is 2, so that would be the answer, the square root of 2. So you can see it's nice, nice and similar between multipl multiplying and dividing. Let's do another one. Let's say the square root of 7 divided by the square root of 7. So if we apply the same rule as before, well, this is going to be the same as the square root of 7 divided by 7. And we know that 7 divided by 7 is 1, so this is the square root of 1. But the square root of 1, that's not a third. We can actually evaluate that. The square root of 1, well, that's just 1. So our answer is just 1. And now you might have been thinking, I didn't need to go through all of this process. And you would be correct. Because we know that whenever we divide something by itself, we always get 1. So it doesn't matter what these values are. If we're dividing by itself, the answer will always be 1. OK, let's do another one. Let's say we've got 12 root 10. And I'm going to make them slightly trickier now. And we're going to divide by 3 root 5. Now, before I go any further, I'm just going to rewrite this in a slightly different format. And hopefully... Um, you've learned by now that when you get on to slightly trickier mathematical calculations, instead of writing a division using this symbol, we can write this as a fraction. So we can just rewrite this as 12 root 10 in the numerator, and we're going to divide by 3 root 5. So hopefully you can see that these two things here are equivalent. OK, so how do we calculate this? Well, first of all, if we focus on the integers, we've got 12 divided by 3. That's nice and easy. That's just 4. And now we can focus on the thirds. We've got root 10 divided by root 5. And we know that that is just root 2. So our answer is 4 root 2. OK, let's do one more. Let's say we've got 51 root 7. And we're going to divide by 3 root 7. OK, so as, as, as I did before, I'm just going to write this out as a fraction. So this is 51 root 7 over 3 root 7. And these two things here are equivalent. So let's deal with the integers first. 51 divided by 3. Well, if you know your 3 times tables all the way up until you get to 51, you will know that you need to multiply 3 uh, 17 times. So 17 times 3 is 51. And now if we focus on the thirds, we've got root 7 divided by root 7. Well, that is just 1. So I could write 17 times 1, but uh, that's just the same as 17. So 17 is my answer. OK, I've got eight questions for you to have a go at. So please pause the video and see if you can evaluate these eight questions. OK, so the first one, we've got root 21 divided by root 7. Well, that's the same as the square root of 21 divided by 7. And 21 divided by 7 is 3, so this is root 3. OK, question 2, root 72 divided by root 8. Well, again, that's the same as the square root of 72 divided by 8. And 72 divided by 8, that is 9. So that's the square root of 9. But remember, the square root of 9 is not a third. 9 is a perfect square, so we can take the square root and get, a, get an integer answer. And the square root of 9 is 3. So our final answer is 3. OK, the next one, we've got the square root of 75 divided by the square root of 3. So this is the square root of 75 divided by 3. And, this, and 75 divided by 3 is 25. So this is the square root of 25. And just like before, 25 is a perfect square. So the square root of 25 is 5. OK, the next one. 
So we've got 4 root 6 divided by 2 root 2, and this is where I like to write them as fractions. So we've got, this is exactly the same as 4 root 6 over 2 root 2. So deal with the numbers first. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Root 6 divided by root 2, that is root 3. So it's 2 root 3. Okay, question 5. So again, I'm going to write all of these as fractions. So this is equivalent to... 9 root 15 over 3 root 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And then root 15 divided by root 3 is root 5. So that is 3 root 5. Okay, the next one, we've got 7 root 30, all of that over root 2. So the numbers first, or the integers first. Now, we don't have any integers here, but this is the same as 1 root 2. So this is just 7 divided by 1, which is just 7. And then root 30 divided by root 2, all well, that is root 15. So it's 7 root 15. Okay, question 7. We've got 36 root 18, all of that over 18 root 6. So 36 divided by 18, that's nice and easy, that's 2. And then root 18 divided by root 6, or well, that is root 3. 18 divided by 6 is 3, so it's 2 root 3. Okay, the last question. We've got root 10 divided by root 100. Now, the first thing to notice is this here. The square root of 100, that is just 10. So I can just get rid of that and write 10. The square root of 100 is 10. So what do we have now? Well, this is equivalent to root 10 in our numerator. Divide all over 10. Now we can't do anything with this. This is our final answer. We cannot simplify this anymore. So our answer is root 10 over 10. So how did you get on with those eight questions? And hopefully you can see that the rules when dividing thirds are very similar to that of multiplying thirds. So I'm just going to do one more video on thirds, which is going to be slightly long, a longer video, and it's going to involve lots of different problem solving type GCSE style questions. So hopefully you'll join me for that. And thanks again for, for thanks again for watching. Take care.